Welcome to the next video in our series on how to create an e-commerce site with WordPress, WooCommerce, and the WooStore theme. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and today we're going to talk about coupons and uh, how to set them up uh, in WordPress with WooCommerce and then after we set up four different types of coupons I'm going to talk a little bit about why they're beneficial if you own an e-commerce site and how you can actually use them to drive traffic to your website uh, and ultimately produce more sales and increase your profit. So uh, the four types of coupons that we're going to create, I'll just uh, quickly go over here. Uh, the first coupon is just going to be a 20% off for the entire order. No matter what's in the cart, uh, they'll get 20% off. And our coupon code for that will be right here. Our, uh, the second type of coupon we're going to create is $5 off for a specific item. So we're going to pick out um, a specific t-shirt and we're going to create a coupon of five dollars off for that specific t-shirt um, and then the next whoops there we go the third type of coupon that we're going to create is free shipping on any order uh, so just your standard uh, free shipping coupon that would work uh, no matter what the order size is it would be uh, so that'll be the third one that we uh, set up here and then the fourth coupon type that we create is going to be 35 percent off uh, the entire order for a specific customer. Uh, oh, forgot to write that here, but um, so I'll show you how to actually create coupons for specific customers, which comes in handy if you run, if you have, uh, you know, customers that you want to reward for shopping with you uh, or for helping um, spread the word about your site or whatever uh, as an incentive. You wanna, you just want to give them a, a special deal. Um, I'll show you how to do that as well. So. Let's go ahead and let's start by creating this first coupon, which is just your standard 20% off the entire order. All right, so our demo site here is WorldCupTees.com, and uh, so if we go ahead and log into, and if you've been following along this series with us on this series with WooCommerce, um, we've used this World Cup Tees site the entire time. We've actually built it from the beginning uh, stages to where we're at right now. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, log into the WordPress admin and let's go to WooCommerce and let's go to coupons right now so we're gonna go ahead and click on add coupon and let's create our first coupon so again this is gonna be just 20 percent off the entire order so the coupon code is right here it's just 20 off today you, you can create whatever you want for the coupon code that's the code you're actually going to give out to your customers um, that they're going to use to apply the coupon so this is the coupon code 20 off today paste it right here again it can be whatever you want now under coupon data this is where we're going to go ahead and start setting up this first coupon there we go there's four different types in this drop down there's your standard discount type there's your cart percentage discount, which is what we're going to set up in this case for this coupon. There's your product discount, and then your, there is a product percentage discount. So a cart discount would discount would give a specific dollar amount discount for all the items in the cart. So like five dollars off everything in your cart, or ten dollars off everything in your cart. It would be a specific dollar amount. Cart percentage discount would be a percentage, a flat rate percentage off of everything in the cart. So you know, 20% off everything in your cart. That would you would use a per cart percentage discount. Product discount for the discount discount. Uh, it's tough to say that discount type. Product discount would mean that it's a, a dollar amount off a specific product in your cart. And then product percentage discount would mean it's a uh, percentage off a specific product or specific products in your cart. If that makes sense. So. Um, in this case, we're doing 20% off the entire order, so we're going to go with a cart percentage discount. All right, and then a coupon amount, we just want to go 20%. And then individual use with, with this checkbox, I'm going to go ahead and check that checkbox because I don't want other coupons to be used with it. Uh, apply before tax, I usually don't uh, worry about that. And enable free shipping, I don't worry about that with this coupon. Again, we're just creating a standard. 20% uh, off your order. All right. So for discount type, cart percentage discount, coupon amount 20. And then if we scroll down, uh, minimum amount. If we wanted to say this only applies if the order is $20 or more, you can do that right here. You would just type in like 20. 
So they would only get the 20% off if the order was $20 or more. In this case, I don't care. They get 20% off no matter what they order or how large your order is. Um, and then here's where you can specify specific products. We're not going to worry about any of that stuff. This is just a basic 20% off coupon. Um, uh, this is something you might want to uh, think about using though is uh, how many times you want people to be able to use this. I'm going to just say unlimited. You could put a limit to how many times they can use the coupon. And then an expiration date. If you want to set an expiration date for this coupon, you could go ahead and do that here. I would just say this coupon will expire on September 30th, 2012. All right. So this is the easiest type of coupon to create just a flat rate percentage off the entire order. And that's how you do it. Again, we just select a cart uh, percentage discount for the discount type. Coupon amount is 20%. Individual use meaning it can't be it can only be used alone. It can't be used in conjunction with other coupons. I didn't worry about anything else uh, except down here. I just uh, give it an expiration date, and so now we're ready to go ahead and create that coupon. And to do that, we just click on publish, just like you're publishing a, uh, a like a blog post or a product. All right, so coupon has been updated. So that coupon has now been created. So what I would do is I'd go out to the site and I would just test it just to make sure that it actually is working so let's go ahead and quickly test this coupon to make sure it works and so let's add this item to our card it's $19.99 let's add two of them alright and then we're gonna go ahead and test this coupon out so let's go to our cart and try to apply this coupon and hopefully it'll work for us. So go ahead and paste in the coupon code and click apply coupon. And it says discount code successfully applied. And if you scroll down, you'll see order discount $8. So the new order total is $34.97. That's 20% off $39. Uh, 98. All right. So that was our 20, our first coupon, 20% off the entire order. Let's go ahead and create our, a, a different type of coupon. Uh, Five dollars off a specific item. All right. So let's go into the WordPress admin and let's go to uh, add a coupon. and we're going to create this second type of coupon which again is five dollars off for a specific item okay so for the disc uh, discount type go ahead and select product discount okay that that's going to allow us to give a, a specific dollar amount for a specific product or products in this case we're just going to choose one product i want to give five dollars off so coupon amount i'm going to say five all right individual use Again, I'm going to check that because I don't want them to, to use any other coupons with this order. Just one coupon per order. Uh, you might have uh, another philosophy on how, about that, but I like to just allow them to use one coupon. Um, and then if you scroll down, uh, there's no minimum amount because I know that. Here, let's go first of all. Let's pick out the the item. Let's go with this Brazil uh, soccer shirt. So it's 19.99. We're going to give them five dollars off that. So this is the product right here that we're going to create this coupon for, specifically for this Brazil soccer t-shirt. All right. So again, discount type. We selected uh, product discount, $5 for the amount. Individual use checkbox checked. Minimum amount, I don't need to worry about that. All right, so now for in this product section, I need to go ahead and find that product. And in this case, it's going to be Brazil soccer was the name of the shirt so if you just start typing the name of the shirt it'll automatically pop up and there it is alright Brazil soccer so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and you can see you can you can uh, you could add more products to, for this coupon but in this case I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with this one product alright and again it's this t-shirt is what we're creating this five dollar off coupon for um, so that's all we need to do there and then if we uh, scroll down here, 
usage limit I like to uh, I'm gonna just limit that one to one one time um, and then expiration actually I'll, I'll leave it unlimited for now just to keep things simple you can play around with that and see how it works but um, expiration date um, well again we'll just say uh, September 30th 2012 for our expiration date for this coupon okay so just to recap this coupon our goal was to create a coupon for a specific product that gave five dollars off on a specific item that item is this Brazil soccer t-shirt and we set it up Oop, what we forgot to do was give it a the, actually give it the coupon code so here's the coupon code for it paste it in again it can be anything so that's going to be the actual coupon code discount type is product discount coupon amounts five dollars and then we went down here to products we started typing in the name of the product that we wanted to give the five dollars off for we found the Brazil soccer shirt uh, scroll down and then we gave it an expiration date of September 30th 2012 let's go ahead and publish it alright so that coupon has now been created let's go out to the site and let's test it out first of all I'm going to clear out my uh, basket we're going to start over here clear that out yeah you should definitely always test a couple times test out your coupons after you make them just to confirm they're working um, alright so here's the product that we just created that five dollars off coupon for let's go ahead and add it to the cart and then let's go to our cart and let's test the coupon that's the coupon code five dollars off apply coupon it says discount code successfully are applied successfully if I scroll down and take a look there you, you go it worked order discount minus five dollars our new order total seventeen ninety eight um, and again they're factoring in shipping I guess on that too so that's why it's 1798 if you add in shipping that would be the total for the order so it did apply the five dollar discount um, so it's that easy again so that's what we did for that uh, that example we created a five dollar off coupon for a specific product so alright moving forward here with coupon number three we're gonna create a free shipping on any order coupon alright so this is just your standard flat uh, free shipping for the order coupon alright so let's go ahead and our coupon code for that's going to be right here so let's go ahead and create that one so if I go into the admin and just click on add coupon and discount type um, you can just leave it as cart discount coupon amount you don't have to worry about putting anything in for that because it's just simply going to be a free shipping coupon um, and then enable free shipping you want to just check that box and then if we scroll down um, if you wanted to choose a minimum order amount for this coupon to be valid again you could do that you could say free shipping on orders over fifty dollar you know thirty dollars or whatever dollar amount you came up with um, in this for this example I'm gonna keep it simple and uh, allow free shipping no matter the amount and then I'm going to go down here and for uh, expiration date we'll just say this will expire again at the end of the month uh, September 30th 2012 so we need to again I forgot to give it a name so let's go ahead and here's my coupon code let's paste the code up here so that'll be the code that your customer uses to get free shipping on the order again to recap how I did that discount type uh, just leave it as cart discount coupon amount leave it as zeros simply check this enable free shipping coupon or free shipping checkbox here and then give it an expiration date if you want and publish it and then of course go out to the site and test it out right away just to make sure so let me remove this item start fresh here again and let's go to the shop let's put an item in the basket and test this out there we go 
view card. <coughs> So you can see my order total right now is 22.98 because uh, right now I have ground shipping at 2.99 selected. So if I apply this coupon, we should have an option for uh, free shipping. Let's go ahead and apply coupon. All right, discount code applied successfully. So if I scroll down, and if we proceed to checkout, it should show up on the next page and there you go uh, you can see that the order total is still $19.99 it took off the $2.99 that I had selected for shipping so uh, creating a free shipping coupon again is it's that simple for discount type just leave it as a cart discount check this enable free shipping checkbox and then uh, go ahead and publish the coupon and if you want to come back in at any time and tweak the coupon you know uh, to maybe set a minimum order amount for it to be valid you can do that you can always come back in you can apply it to certain products um, you can even exclude products so for example you could just say I want it to work for all of my products except you know uh, USA soccer shirt it'll automatically find that just start typing the name of the product there we go so now this coupon would work for every product on the site except for USA soccer t-shirt uh, you can do that for categories as, as well you could say I want it to work uh, for the Italy team Italy t-shirts um, but not the team USA t-shirts so you can really play around with this and create many different coupon types and then uh, tweak those um, coupon types however you want um, so, and I encourage you to play around with that and, and uh, see what makes sense for your particular site. Uh, the last coupon we're going to create quickly is coupon number four. It's going to be 35% off, 35% uh, off the order for a specific user. All right. So in this case, uh, let's say I have a customer. He's my best customer. She's my best customer. I want to reward them uh, for their loyalty for shopping with me. I'm going to give them a sweet, uh, special deal. Um, so I'm going to create a coupon specifically for them. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to create a 35% off the entire order coupon for a specific user. All right, so here's how to do that. Let's go into the admin, click on add coupon. And for discount type, I'm going to leave it as cart discount. Again, cart discount. Or I mean, I'm going to leave it at. I'm going to change it to cart percentage discount. This is going to give them a percentage off the entire their entire order, no matter how much they order. And we're going to say 35. So they're going to get 35 percent off. And um, let's see here, individual use. Again, I'm going to check that because I don't want them to use other coupons with this coupon. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to allow them to use this with any pro for any products. All right, so I'm not going to touch anything here. Minimum order amount. Uh, again, uh, they can they can use this coupon whether their their order is twenty dollars or a thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. And here is where I'm going to go ahead and type in their email address. So what I would do is I would find you know, I would find the customer um, by going into um, I'd go to users. And then I go to uh, all users and I'd search for their email address this way. This will show me their account email address. And then I would go ahead and just uh, type their email address right here. So, uh, my best customer at gmail.com. And uh, you can add as many as you want, just separate them with a comma. My best customer2 at gmail alright so those two people would get this this coupon would work for both of these people and then I would maybe send them an email and say thanks for being a customer appreciate your business here's 35 percent off use this coupon alright so um, you know and then maybe I'd set the usage limit to two so they can't use it more than two times and I I always would I always recommend using the expiration date with coupons we'll just say October 17th 2012 is the expiration date all right, so now oh, I'm gonna give it a. I keep forgetting the uh, the title up here, or not the title, but the actual coupon code. 
All right, so that's a coupon code that I would email to them and say, you know, thanks for being a, a, one of our best customers. Use this to get 35% off your order. All right, so um, this that's how you set up a coupon for a specific customer or specific customers. And uh, if we just go ahead and publish that coupon, um, again, I recommend going ahead and testing it. I'm not going to because this video is run, running a lot longer than I wanted to already, but um, I wanted to try to be as detailed as possible and show you the different types of coupons. And that's just four coupons. There's there's definitely more coupons that you could make, um, but uh, I wanted to at least do four different examples. So. Uh, I recommend coming in here and, and creating different types of coupons and then testing them out so you, you get a good idea on how this works um, because coupons I have found with some of my t-shirt sites uh, and other e-commerce sites to be very effective uh, in getting new customers um, and just driving traffic to your site. One example of how how you can uh, do this is sites like Retail Me Not, which is a very popular coupon site. You can go out here and uh, share your coupons. So maybe let's say you created these four different types of or you created a, a few different types of coupons. You could go right out to a site like Retail Me Not, uh, and there's many other sites that are like Retail Me Not that aren't as uh, popular, but still there this works. And um, go ahead and post your uh, share your coupon out on these sites. Free to do, completely free to share your coupons. And what that does is it now gives a, a puts out a link back to your website, a backlink essentially, um, and just gets your name out there, gets your site URL out on these popular coupon sites uh, where people are more likely to pick up on them. Uh, see that you have a great deal out there. Go to your site. You know somebody that would would have never have been to your site before uh, will now show up, and uh, possibly uh, you'll get a sale from it. Um, so that's one way. And again, like I said, there's a lot of sites out there like Retail Me Not that you can use this. I, I call it coupon marketing, and I found it to be very effective. So that's how you create coupons with WooCommerce. Um, I definitely recommend testing this out, creating a bunch of different coupons. Um, uh, using it uh, for marketing purposes uh, to gain new customers, using it, using them to reward uh, existing customers. Everybody's looking for a good deal these days, and uh, WooCommerce makes it very easy to create uh, many different types of coupons that uh, will help grow uh, your e-commerce site. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your support on this entire series, uh, this entire WooCommerce and WordPress series. Um, my name's Adam with uploadwp.com and I will see you on the next video.